At the New York Toy Fair about 20 years ago, I came across from 1992, this was the first year actually, a wonderful invention called Bear Parts, B-E-A-R, Bear Parts, not B-A-R-E. And it consisted of teddy bears like this one here, um, in which they provided the bits for it, the, that's the head and uh, four paws, or two front paws and two back legs, and you had to provide the body. And the idea obviously was you found a honey jar to um, sit it on. Well, I had a go, but I've got the wrong sort of jar, or at least I'll show it to you. But I, I've certainly a honey jar, but it's, I realised there was something missing there. So that's my first attempt at making it perform, let's see if I can hold it up a bit better. This is, this is a honey jar, it's from my, one of my favourite local shops, but it's, um, it's cylindrical, you know, it's, it's got straight sides, which is not like a bear's body, so it doesn't quite come off. So I had another go with a smaller version of the thing, I was getting a bit closer to it. And this one here is what they call Marmite, it's uh, that and Bovra are my two favourite things, but it's got a nice round bit to it, so that looks much better now. So what I need to do is find a honey jar that's got that nice shape, not Marmite, but honey, with the word honey, H-O-N-E-Y in the middle, and I feel the thing has really come alive then, because it's a very, very nice idea, only ever seen perhaps two years running and then it's disappeared as well, bare parts, very, and it's plush and soft for kids to play with, and it's just delightful as an idea to decorate um, things in the kitchen, and then they can open the pot and have some honey and then go back to being a toy again. Very, very nice design. I just wish it was um, out there a bit more. There's a marvellous poster which I picked up about that same time from the Nature Company of um, California. And this is just superb. It shows what it would be like if the dinosaurs came to visit us again um, in modern day. Look at this picture. Wonderful, wonderful thing. Big monster, can you see he's got in his mouth some vegetation which he's taken from that green gardener's truck which is on the motorway, the chap's a bit horrified. And over here with my fingers covering it, the full-sized black ox, full-sized mammal, but look at it, in comparison it's absolutely, it's hardly as big as a dinosaur's head, isn't it? So a wonderful way of um, getting kids to appreciate just how big these monsters were and how big they would ever be if they came back into the modern world of us puny little mammals for size. So. A great way of showing it, and the Nature Company did a magnificent job for um, producing that, I think. Here's a very clever design from my friend Michael Berger, Harlequin Geschenk. It's um, all the world looks just like uh, uh, an airmail letter. Um, and it is, um, well, it is for airmail, but it's not a letter. It's actually a postcard. Isn't that nice? So the back of the postcard looks like an airmail letter. Could be sense, but. Um, uh, it would have to have a stamp and you'd be able to read it. Uh, it wouldn't be a private, of course, but as a concept, that's very, very clever, I think. So, well done, Michael's company, I think. Good one. And the last one is a monster, so I thought I'd do it the other way around. It's um, something I only got about two days ago. It's a, it's a, it's a stool made of very heavy-duty recycled cardboard. Uh, and the idea is you put it on the, on the grass or on the ground, put a cushion on it, and sit in it. But what's brilliant about this is it... Um, the way it wraps up, it's got Velcro here to hold the piece together. Undo it. There we are. There's, there's only two tabs to do. It's quite tough cardboard, so you've got to really push it and woof, it closes just like that. What an amazing piece of work that is, isn't it? And it opens up in this elegant way, looking like a concertina almost. It makes a, because it's so sturdy, it makes some. Um, a very comfortable seat to sit on. I have started to see almost little settees of this same same technology using this paper honeycomb effect um, to make furniture. And it's, if it's really, really strong stuff, you can sit in it. I also found when I was visiting my brother Sam yesterday, and I showed it, I was able to roll it across the lawn because it, on, when it's a roly-poly, it rolls very nicely. And uh, one of my family picked it up and turned it over and sat in it with a cushion. It was very comfortable. So. What a brilliant, brilliant design that is. Look out for it. They are around. It's about uh, 10 years ago I came, first came across it, I think. But um, it's starting to have a little re relaunch, I think it is, because it's a lovely way of recycling cardboard, I think it is. So, um, foldable seats, a, f a, fold a folding, a folding um, stool to sit on, and a very, very nice idea, too.